As COVID-19 continues to rage around the world, each country is striving to curtail the outbreak. Japan is taking a science-based approach to the pandemic without resorting to the hard lockdowns implemented by some other countries. The main elements are the cluster-based approach, effective and efficient PCR testing, medical care system, avoidance of the three C's and proactive cooperation from the public. In this film, we will focus on two core elements, the cluster-based approach and avoidance of the three C's. Our goal is to suppress the spread of the virus as much as possible while minimizing its socio-economic impact. During Japan's first wave of outbreak, we conducted detailed analysis. We found nearly 80% of infected did not transmit the virus to anybody else. However, a few percent did transmit to many others. Such groups of infected people are known as clusters. In order to curtail the spread of the virus, it was vital to identify the clusters effectively and control the situation. Central to this is a process known as retrospective tracing, which is to trace who had contacts with the infected person in the recent past and detect an infection cluster where a number of infected persons shared the same time and space. Extensive PCR testing of those who were present in the cluster enabled efficient discovery and early treatment of infected persons and thereby prevention of exacerbation and further transmission. Our cluster-based approach and effective and efficient PCR testing were the keys to our strategy to suppress the spread of the virus. Compared to international data, it is evident that Japan has performed sufficient number of tests taking into account the level of transmission. As retrospective tracing went on, the team gained insights into the conditions where clusters were likely to occur. It was closed spaces. The team found that when such spaces are crowded, people in close contact spread the virus through airborne micro droplets during loud conversation. They deduced that avoiding closed spaces, crowded and close contact settings, or the three C's, could prevent fresh infection clusters. Based on these insights, the Japanese government requested all citizens to avoid the three C's. Japanese citizens voluntarily and proactively cooperated in avoiding the three C's and contributed substantially to preventing fresh infection clusters. The WHO also promotes avoidance of the three C's around the world. No country is perfect in all of this. Uh, Japan has had its struggles, but I too, do think Japan deserves a lot of credit for the science-based approach uh, that it has taken to this response. We needed some time to find the right approach, but so far we have managed to keep infection rate lower than many other countries. It is important to slow down the spread of COVID-19 while maintaining social and economic activities. Japan will continue its efforts to fight against viruses based on its scientific strategy.